Hello class. Today we'll be learning about our Spanish explorer, Francisco Coronado. Oh, bro, ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Actually, it's important to know all these historical events. You never know when you might need them in the future. Shut up, nerd. <laughs> Silence, class. All right, it all started in 1510. Little baby Francisco Coronado was born in 1510 into a rich, wealthy family, but he wanted to make a name for himself. Because of the rumors of the seven cities of gold in 1540, the Viceroy of Mexico sent Francisco Coronado there. He discovered many things. While he was in the southern United States, go, he discovered many places going through Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas in 1540-1542. Also, in 1541, he discovered the Grand Canyon. Alright class, in your notes, it should say that in 1541, what did Francisco Coronado discover? Right there, you should write down the Grand Canyon. Because he was sure there was no gold, he returned to Mexico in 1542. But because he returned to Mexico with no gold, he gets in trouble. In 1547, Francisco regains favor, but is continued to be left out. But at least in 1549, Francisco is rewarded with a piece of land for his services. After spending the rest of his life in Mexico, Francisco Coronado died in 1554. All right, class, your last question should ask where Francisco died. The right answer is Mexico. In 1936, Coronado Heights was built near Scythe in Kansas, where artifacts were found and, put, and people believed the artifacts were Francisco's. And in 1952, the Coronado National Memorial was built. It's a national park. class what do you get out of that oh no wait what what um yeah it was super duper boring no it was super fascinating i really got i really learned a lot all right guys thanks for paying attention or at least you iggy but um so yeah see you next history class